Hey friends, today I'm hanging out at Epcot. There is a lot of new things happening today, including changes to how we can dine at sit-down restaurants, and also some major updates to the harmonious barges out on World Showcase Lagoon. So, let's go do this. Like I said earlier, they have new rules in place when it comes to wearing a mask at sit-down dining locations. So I grabbed a reservation for the Garden Grill, which is a character meal, and I wanted to actually go over the new rules with you. But first, I want to go to World Showcase Lagoon because I want to see the new Harmonious Barge that they actually brought out. Harmonious is set to be Disney's biggest nighttime show of all time. So this really has me excited and I'm really hoping that it opens up for the 50th anniversary. I think it would be good to bring it in with a bang. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the topiaries are actually popping up for Flower and Garden Festival, which starts next week. Look, you got Bo Peep and Woody right here. Howdy, partner. I am very excited to be dining at Garden Grill. It's been a long time since I've eaten there. In fact, I don't think I've eaten there since they actually closed down. I haven't seen it during this new pandemic era. And also, I'm excited to see characters like Chip and Dale and Mickey and just eat some amazing food. And here it is. Look at that. That is the centerpiece for the new nighttime show, Harmonious. This is going to be such a huge nighttime show. I am so excited for this. I have to say, I was not a fan when they said they were going to cancel Wishes and replace it with Happily Ever After. And then when Happily Ever After debuted, I was like, okay, this is amazing. And I feel like that's the same way we're going with Harmonious. I was sad Illuminations came, Epcot Forever was, it was a good show, I really enjoyed it. But I think once Harmonious debuts, I'm going to be like, that was such an amazing show. So with that, they're actually gonna use that as like the centerpiece and that's basically gonna replace the globe from Illuminations. Everyone remembers the globe coming out and everything like that and that was the centerpiece for Illuminations. And I think this is a part of the centerpiece for Harmonious. This is gonna be massive, I am so excited. But we do need to get to our reservation. I am hungry and I wanna tell you more about the mask update and uh, eat some food. Now it's time to head into the land. That's where the Garden Grill is. I don't know if you guys have ever eaten here before, but it is truly a fantastic restaurant. It actually rotates 360 characters, all you care to eat, tons of amazing food. And look at this cast member dancing. That is literally awesome. That makes me so happy right now. Curtis is the man. He said, welcome to the land. Here it is, the Garden Grill. I'm very excited to get a check in for a reservation. Bada bing, bada boom. We are rotating the wall, I can stay. Oh, yeah. And guess what our table is? This one. This one? This one! Fancy! Look at that, I am here. You like that? I like it. And this table moves, so you look. Oh, okay. So you Ooh, can plenty of room. Let's sit to you. And I got a good view. Well, it's gonna go around. It's gonna change. Okay, ah. Alright. Now that we're seated at the table, normally I would say we could take our mask off, but Disney did change their rules on this, and they're requiring everyone to keep their mask on uh, while they're sitting, standing, and waiting to actually dine. And you can take your mask off when you're actively eating, which this rule is actually already used in tons of different states, and I think it's actually a, not a bad rule. You know what I mean? Once the food is brought out, then you can take off your mask, but it double protect so it actually protects our cast members and it protects yourself you know what i mean it cuts down it cuts the probability in half and i think that's amazing here is disney's official rule on face coverings for guests ages two and up which must be worn in all public areas and can only be removed while actively eating or drinking face coverings must be worn while standing waiting or sitting in dining locations I asked the cast member and they told me that I just have to keep the mask on when we're communicating with other cast member and other people. Once the food and the beverages come off, I can remove them and actively eat and drink, which is not to be like wrong to ask. I think this is fairly easy. You're just wearing your mask just for an additional couple minutes. And I think this is a good thing. I think this is really nice. So now that the food and my beverages arrived, which I got a Coke and then a salad comes, and this salad is actually all pulled and made from the land, which is the attraction downstairs. That's really awesome. That's how fresh this is. They actually get this grown right here in-house. And I'm not usually a big salad eater, but 
I have to try this. And I like spinach. Look at this. And I believe everything in here is comes in. It comes with a balsamic vinaigrette. So we're gonna get some of that all in there. Yep. As we're rotating around the actual restaurant, the characters will be coming right up here and you're gonna be able to say hi and socially distance and take a selfie. They also have plexiglass separating the boots. So in case you're sit like next to a party, like I have someone behind me, there's a plexiglass actually making that like break in the chain. I think on top of the actual uh, interaction with the cast members, I think as the characters come about, I'll keep my mask on. I mean, I know that they're socially distanced away, but I think it would be appropriate. Oh, and there they are right here. Look at this. Fancy that. That chip. Yeah, right on the button. Right on the button. Chip it is. <laughs> and now the food has arrived. Look at all this goodness. We got mac and cheese with goldfish on top. We've got mashed potatoes, roast beef, corn, stuffing, turkey, green beans, and this is all you care to enjoy in a skillet. I don't even think I need to transfer a sense. It's just me and I'm not sharing with anybody. So I'm just gonna eat out of the skillet actually. This is gonna be so good. I've been craving turkey and stuffing since uh, Thanksgiving or actually Christmas and this is like the perfect fitting for it. So we get a little bit of that, a little bit of this, and a little bit of that. That is so amazing. I love the turkey, I love the stuffing. I didn't dive into anything else but those two right there is literally what I've been craving. Like I said, I've been missing Thanksgiving food and I don't know why. I mean, there's plenty of locations at Disney where you can come and get stuff like this. Liberty Tree Tavern, you can even get a skillet at Whispering Canyon Cafe and uh, this is one of the few where the characters are actually still out and about. Not too many character uh, dining available in Disney World at the moment, so that's why I like this one as much. And then out of nowhere, Pluto arrives. Hey, ya pal. <laughs> You're one of my favorites. That is awesome. Look at you, happy dog. Gracie says hello. <laughs> now I want to try some of this roast beef. Oh, it looks good. I'm gonna fork it over a little bit. Oh yeah, perfection. This is so much food. If you've ever dined here before, what is your favorite item? Is it the mac and cheese with the goldfish? Is it the turkey, the stuffing? Mine has to go with the turkey and stuffing. I'm just obsessed with it. And also the corn too. And it's more than just corn. It's got a good mixture in there. Very good stuff here though. Hiya, pal. Oh, thank you. I asked the cast member and they told me that it actually takes one full hour for the rotation to be complete and then you're back out front. So I'm like uh, trying to see like if I can finish all my food and be done by the time I actually reach the outside where I started. You can see the buffalo down there too now and I actually see some of the ride vehicles going through right there and we're coming up on my favorite little house in Disney World. This is my dream house. This is where I wish I can actually live. Can I get more of the beef? More beef. Yeah, and turkey and stuffing. Okay. Thank you. Back again. Thank you. I'm always like such a sucker for stuffing. I think stuffing is such an amazing thing. And I don't know, it's hard to beat. I do love Liberty Tree stuffing. That's probably up there with my favorite. This one's pretty good as well though. And like I said, I asked for more beef, stuffing and turkey and they brought it on a plate like this. 
very easy and convenient. This uh, chimichurri sauce is amazing. That really makes the roast beef one of my favorite dishes. If this didn't have turkey and stuff in combination, that would be my favorite. So overall, I like everything. <laughs> And here it is, my favorite house. Look, you can see the land boats actually going right there. This is so awesome. And it's the only place that you can actually see inside. As you come a little bit closer here, you see, you get a look inside the bedroom up top. That is really awesome, isn't it? I actually want to zoom in a little bit more just to see if I can see anything in there. <laughs> and look at the rooster on the mailbox there. This would be my dream home right here. I'll stay here forever. I wonder what they have inside there. Like, it's probably just hollowed out, right? Oh, another boat's coming right there. So much food. I can't stop. This is so good. And the roast beef, the more and more I eat it, the more I really love it. I think I might like it more than the turkey and stuffing. Is it too late to retract how much I like something? I mean, I like it all, but this is just too good. I only got the stuffing left and I need to make room because there's still dessert coming. We gotta get all that gravy. That's the way. I remember getting the dessert here and thinking, wow, this is amazing. It was a berry compote, kind of like a strawberry shortcake. And I'm excited to try it again because I remember that was like the thing that stood out to me last time I was here, other than the stuffing. And here it is. Look at this. Isn't it glorious? Oh, I'm so excited to dive in. Just get a little bit of everything. That is seriously much too good for children. Oh my lord, I love it. So delicious. Definitely worth the wait. I'm glad I saved some room because I think I'm going to eat all of this. With that dessert, I want to tell you guys a very cool tip that I kind of just learned is if you want to take your selfies and photos with the characters, do it while the actual restaurant is rotated with the land. As it goes in the back and you're kind of going through living with the land, it gets very dark, but right here the lighting is best. So either when you first come or at the end is when you can get the best lighting for your pictures. And then at the end of your meal, you get Mickey's, Chippendale, and Pluto's autograph. All on this really nifty garden grill like postcard. I like this. Oh, look at, look at, look at Chip with the uh, corn in its mouth. That's really cool. It is $55 for this dining experience and they do take annual pass discount. So I think it came to $52.50, I think. We say $5.50, it all came to $49.50, which is not too bad at all because that includes your beverages, your dessert, everything, and then all the character experiences. I think it's really fun and uh, I really enjoyed it. And this was like my first time dining with my uh, mask and the new mask policies. And I don't think I felt like it was anything different, really. It just still feels magical and fun. And plus, you know, you get to eat good food at Disney. Who would want that? My dining experience took one full hour. I was sitting right there and I think I started right here. So that was really fun. I actually timed it pretty much right on time. And with that, I think I am done here today. What an amazing time and we got to check out the new barge and enjoy some amazing food with Mickey and friends and Chip and Dale. I really love that place. I think that's like one of the better character dinings you can do on property. You have Hollywood and Vine, you have Chef Mickey's. Um, I'm trying to think of the other ones, but I think right now that one's probably the best bang for the buck. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.